Take both cargo pocket pieces and with right sides together, place them on top of each other. Line them up on all sides and pin them together. We are going to sew the seams one centimeter from the edge. However, we need to remember to leave an opening along the top edge so we can turn the cargo pocket right side out. You can trim the seam allowance by half, but leave the full seam allowance around the opening. Turn the cargo pocket right side out, then you can press all seams flat. When you are ready, top stitch the edge with the opening. Take a ruler and a marking pen and on the right side of the pocket, mark a notch one centimeter from the edge. Then you're going to mark another notch one centimeter from the first notch and follow it with the third one. So you have three notches one centimeter apart. From the last notch, measure nine centimeters and mark another notch. From that notch, Mark two subsequent notches one centimeter apart. Extend the last notch to the top because we're going to use it as a stitching line. On the right side of the front lining piece, draw a rectangle that is 24 centimeters wide and 16 centimeters tall. Make sure it is centered eight centimeters down from the top edge. Then you can take your cargo pocket and place it inside the rectangle. As you can see, the pocket is bigger than the rectangle, but do not worry about it because it will fit once we create the cargo pocket. First, line up the right side of the pocket inside the rectangle and pin it in place. You're going to top stitch along the side, stitch the bottom edge and sew on top of the stitching line. If you want, you can also stitch tiny triangles at the top to anchor the pocket. As you can see, we have created a small slip pocket. Now we are going to work on the other side and create a cargo pocket. To do this, we need to make pleats using those notches as a guide. Just as a reminder, you have notch one, two and three, and then four, five and six. First, we are going to work on this group of notches. So you need to pinch the pocket at the notch four. Then we're going to bring the notch four towards the last notch. When we do, this makes another fold along the notch five. Then you can clip it in place. Let me show you how it looks like from this side. Not sure if that's just me, but this pleat reminds me of a zigzag. Next, we're going to make a similar pleat on this side, following those set of notches. First, Pinch the pocket at notch 3, then you can bring that notch towards the notch 1, making a fold along notch 2 as we did on the other side. As you can see, we created another zigzag pleat. Before you pin this side, you can double check if the cargo pocket fits inside your rectangle. Adjust your pleats if necessary, then pin the pocket to the lining. When you are ready, we're going to stitch the pocket starting at the bottom edge, pivot at the corner and stitch along the other side. If you want, you can stitch a little triangle to anchor the pocket. 